Japanese scientists are busy building something that they've been doing for about 20 years. They have chosen a mountain in the middle of nowhere and they have a budget of $600 million. So what the hell are they doing out here? They are building a machine called the Hyper Cameo Candy, a massive thing in the middle of the mountain that's 80 meters tall and it has a width of 70 meters. And just like we said, it has to be built inside a mountain. When you enter this thing when it's finished, it's gonna look like this. But the one you're seeing is the smaller version that's built several kilometers away from this place. So the new one they're building looks similar, but it's much more sophisticated and it's also much bigger. But what is it? Why are they spending so much time and money to build something inside a mountain? Before we enter the Hyper Kamio Kanda, let's learn a few things first. We know the space around us. All the matter in the universe is made up of atoms and the atoms are made from smaller particles. And these particles like the protons and electrons have smaller particles as well. You have the quarks, bosons and neutrino, which is the smallest particle of an atom. Neutrinos are so small that they can pass through anything in the universe without anything being bothered. Inside our body, millions of neutrino enter and exit without missing a beat and we don't even notice it. So that means it literally goes through every single atoms in our body, our skin, our heart, anything, and we don't even notice it. Because of this, it is extremely hard to study neutrino because it's really hard to catch it, see it, and of course, examine it. So for something that can pass through anything and you can't catch it anywhere, how the hell are we gonna study it? Right now, the only way you could kind of do this is at the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland, where they shoot two protons at each other. And when these things hit each other, they somewhat explode and they can examine the neutrino that comes out of these protons. But this way of examining neutrino is very different to what the Japanese are up to. In the small town of Kamioka, there is a mountain there called the Nijugo, and everything is going to be built inside this mountain. But why the hell are they building it inside a mountain? What is the purpose of doing this much work for something like this? You have to know that there is no cave inside this mountain. They have to carve out the entire place for a machine like this to be built. In simple terms, a machine like this has to be built in a place where there is no pollution or radiation coming from anywhere, which is why they chose the middle of nowhere inside the mountain. Technically, there will be no disturbances except neutrinos coming in. This project was started by the University of Tokyo and throughout the years, 22 countries have gotten along and sponsored this project as well because they're interested in having a research facility like this. So the goal of Japan and the 21 other countries is to build the machine that's best and it's suited for catching and studying neutrino. Just like we said, there's a smaller version of this already built called the Super Kamio Kande, and it's fairly close to where they're building the Hyper Kamio Kande. The Super version was built in 1996 and it wasn't inside the mountain, it was actually underground. They're about 1000 meters underground for the Super, but they slowly realize that being underground this much is not helping the case because they can do much better if they go inside the mountain and they could be the same elevation as the ground. So they basically chose a place where there is no pollution, no radiation coming from anywhere, but it's in a very good location to catch these quarks coming in. But it's kind of weird. Neutrino could easily pass through stars, planets, anything without a problem, and it's been doing it for billions of years. So why did the Japanese think they can catch these neutrinos in a place like this? We will get to that. But experts have said, we've been carving out this mountain for many years now, and it's going to be finished this year, meaning at the end of 2025. After the digging and carving is over, they have to put a special type of concrete, which is two layers of it, and they have to put a special waterproof seal on top of the concrete, because this place is going to be filled with water completely. It is interesting to note that when the Hyper Kamio Kande is filled with water, it is going to be the biggest tank of water in the world. Basically, the biggest pool in the world, which is about 260 million liters of water. 
and that means filling up this massive water tank is going to take more than six months. But why is this machine going to be filled with water? Because there's going to be all types of cameras and sensors all across the walls and the floors. The water they use for a tank like this has to be extremely clean. It's not just any water. This is why it's called ultra pure water. So we're getting to a point on why they put water in here. Because water is the best tool to examine and see neutrino. When a neutrino passes through this water tank, most of the times it passes through and nothing special happens. But sometimes when it's passing through, there is a chance that it could hit an electron. Electron is the outermost particles of an atom. And when it crashes into it, it creates a tiny flash. Something you and I will never see with our naked eye or even the best telescope, microscope, anything. But the amount of cameras and sensors that are used in this machine can easily examine this flash. And this is how the scientists and experts will see the neutrino and start examining on what it is and how it works. Long story short, the reason they're spending all these years and all this money is to get that tiny flash into their system so they can examine it. All right, let's talk about the cameras and sensors because we said there's gonna be 260 million liters of water inside here. How do these cameras and sensors withhold all that weight? There are special covers on these things that are clear, but they can withstand all that weight. Hyper Camera Canada project started in the year 1999. They started drawing out everything, designing it, changing it up, picking a location, and all this took about 20 years before they actually started executing it. So technically, that was the hardest part, designing it and choosing the best location possible. Even though it took a very long time to design this place, but the Japanese, especially the University of Tokyo that are building this place, are moving very fast. And they say the whole project will be finished by the year 2027 which is truly amazing because they only started digging the mountain and carving it in the year 2021. But anyways, they get this project finished, they spend all this money and time. What the hell is it good for you and I? Why is this so important? It has been billions of years where Neutrino passes the planet, stars, the Milky Way, the universe, and no one cares. Why is it important all of a sudden? You have to know that particle physics, basically the experts that are building this machine, is extremely important for human life, at least for human life advancements. A good example is the MRI machine. It is because of particle physics and its scientists that such machine exists. It's not an x-ray, but because of particles and the use of magnets, it could scan inside your body. It is also because of particle physics that you are watching this video on YouTube. It was particle physicists that were examining with different things, and it was by accident that they created the World Wide Web, basically the internet we use today. Tim Berners-Lee is credited to the man that created the World Wide Web. He was working at CERN in Switzerland as a particle physicist, and with the help of other scientists, they created the most important tool in human life, at least in modern human life. These guys didn't have a goal of creating the internet or World Wide Web, they didn't even know such thing existed. But since they were studying particles, they invented something that they never thought would exist. Which is why this University of Tokyo and other countries are putting so much money and time into something like this. Because maybe if you figure out the neutrino, you might figure things out that you never thought existed. <laughs> 